So I think that technology has definitely played a big part in allowing conflicts to go on much longer than they needed to. Um, I think like with texting, it's really easy to avoid that face-to-face -face conversation. Um, and it's also hard to tell the tone of someone when they're texting or posting online. Um, I think sometimes it can feel really aggressive and maybe it is, but maybe it's just someone trying to explain their point of view and that's not really able to come across clearly when you're online or texting versus in person. Um, and I've also seen um, kind of that passive aggressiveness coming through when someone posts on social media. Um, I've heard of people posting like on Tumblr or like on Instagram and saying like, oh my gosh, my roommate is the worst. Um, and then the roommate sees it and they're like, what? Like, I didn't know that we had a conflict. And then I think it's really hard to address conflicts when you're finding out about it, not directly from your roommate, but like if someone showed you or it's like posted online, um, because then the problem isn't just what the frustration is, but it's how that person is expressing their frustration. And I think it's important to have these conflict conversations in person, like they get over quicker, um, you get to a more complete solution, and it's this couple minute conversation rather than a days or however long of a drawn out texting conversation. It's always these underlying things left over from a texting conversation or maybe you're not quite on the same page. There's a lot of things that get lost over text message that can sound either passive aggressive or offensive to people depending on how you write your sentences or if you put emojis or periods or not. Uh, some people put periods after their sentences all the time and others might so when you put a period they might take it to mean that you're mad at them. So having that conversation in person where you can uh, uh, read their body language I think is really important and tone as well. This is the majority of the time that I see in conflict is the passive-aggressive group text. Very common, um, it's the worst <laughs> and honestly um, so a lot of times roommates especially in clusters like uh, where I are right now or in areas where you're in an apartment or you're living with a bunch of people people tend to form group texts and then maybe you're not seeing each other around because of busy schedules and things like that and so people will just send texts that are very passive aggressive and I think that that conveys just this air of hostility and then it creates this whole tension between the whole apartment and it's crazy how a single text can do that um, but it's because everybody sees it everybody sees that the person's clearly angry and it's like usually targeting a certain person in the apartment without saying it and then people talk about it to their friends too like they're like look at this text and then it becomes this whole thing I'm like it doesn't have to be this whole thing and I think that that's a huge issue. So um, I know that schedules are really busy and things like that, but I think it's really important to talk about things uh, directly. Um, and if you notice an issue and you don't know who it is, I think it's really important to just call in a meeting for everybody. And I know this is hard because of scheduling, and I know that it's hard to kind of get everybody to want to do an apartment meeting, but I think it will turn out so much better in the long run. Um, that way that you're talking about things early on, you're setting kind of these rules that you want, um, and then maybe just communicating through text if you really need to, then I think just really be nice about the way that you're saying things and not target somebody specifically, but I think come from a place of like, I don't prefer that we do this and I understand why and I know there's busy schedules, but like maybe if everybody could try to wash their dishes by the end of the night or whatever and have everybody agree to that. Um, just things like that. Um, it's really about just being nice and avoiding the hostility that comes from a text that targets somebody or that makes somebody feel um, like hurt. Yeah. <laughs>